People across the country are watching closely to see what happens next as the trial nears an end in the killing of Ahmad Arbery. The jury will be back this morning to hear more closing arguments. They started on Monday and that gets us one step closer to a verdict. 11 Alive's Hope Ford has the latest from Glynn County. Jurors sat through about five hours of closing arguments in the trial of the death of Ahmaud Arbery. The state saying the defendants were aggressors who created the situation that ended with Arbery's death. The defense saying their clients had every right to pursue Arbery because they believed he was responsible for a string of burglaries. Travis McMichael's attorney saying Arbery's life was only in danger when Arbery reached for the gun. Greg McMichael's defense claiming it was Arbery's own actions that resulted in him being shot. Roddy Bryan, who filmed the viral video of the shooting, his attorney says Bryan should shouldn't be on trial because he didn't know Travis had a gun and didn't know Travis would shoot. Prosecutor Linda Donikowski says all three defendants made driveway decisions and assumptions about Arbery because he was a black man running down the street. Another big group of supporters is expected again today. Outside court on Monday, members of the new Black Panther Party chanted Arbery's name, held signs and marched calling for justice. Some came carrying rifles. Inside defense attorney Kevin Goh filed his seventh mistrial motion based on those demonstrations. The judge denied his request once again. So the state will pick up closing arguments this morning at 830. And after that, the jury is expected to get a list of charges and start their deliberations. We have been covering this trial for you since the very beginning, and our coverage continues around the clock online on 11alive.com. You can also check the 11alive app for the very latest.